Oral lichen planus is autoimmune disease which affects oral cavity and it's important because it can cause constant discomfort and burning sensation into mouth while person is picking, eating or even breathing. It affects around 1 or 2 percent of global population. So it's common problem for many people. And the most important characteristics is lazy white lines, uh, redness and sometimes painful sores. Uh, especially these white lines into oral mucosa you can see which uh, which have lazy appearance it is called we come try now let's touch associations uh, lichen planus is associated with age 30 to 6 usually this is the uh, window of age when uh, lichen planus is diagnosed it's more common in females in smokers and pe people with diabetes Lichen planus is called because it resembles, it looks like tree moss. Its appearance looks like tree moss. That's why it is called lichen planus because uh, lichen means tree moss and planus means flat uh, from Greek. Uh, now let's say about what is manifestation and forms of lichen planus most common form is reticular oral lichen planus its most common appearance you can see these lacy white lines patches and its most common characteristic and most common type usually it's asymptomatic and usually it has good prognosis another type is erosive type erosive lichen planus characterized by red raw areas you can see how red is this and uh, it looks like it's raw in the mouth burning sensation discomfort painful sores and ulcers uh, so this form erosive form is more commonly associated with malignant transformation that's why it's important generally lichen planus has a low uh, low rate of malignant transformation but erosive form has higher malignant transformation that's why we should pay attention another type is plug like lichen planus and uh, it's characteristic because you can see this white patch which resembling uh, oral leukoplakia usually it's asymptomatic also and we have other three types uh, one is atropic lichen planus which which is characterized thinner or oral mucosa and it causes um, discomfort also it it's somewhere somewhere between um, first and most common form which is reticular form and erasive form uh, atropic type is somewhere between to these two four uh, another form is popular uh, lichen planus popular uh, means uh, we have small papules inside small bumps inside the mouth usually they are small and they are multiple and uh, symptoms usually asymptomatic so we have no symptoms usually and uh, bullous type is rare type and it is characterized fluid filled blisters which is called bully uh, now let's say about diagnosis uh, diag of course appearance and symptoms uh, can be diagnostic criteria but golden standard of diagnosis is biopsy uh, and uh, in biopsy we can see thickening of the oral mucosa top layers uh, also important is decreased blood vessel count and increased um, band of lymphocyte, lymphocytes uh, or lymphocyte accumulation now let's say about treatment first line treatment is topical uh, corticosteroids usually uh, if uh, topical corticosteroids is ineffective 
as a first line treatment um, systemic corticosteroids are used as a second line treatment and immunosuppressants uh, sometimes retinoids also that's all i wanted to say about uh, lichen planus it's important this is actually uh, of course uh, we have uh, lichen planus on skin it's part of dermatology um, but we did not touch uh, skin manifestation of lichen planus, planus. we uh, we discussed only oral manifestation thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now